Welcome back, kindergarten. Our second book this week is called One of Three. Uh, this story is going to go along with our essential question again, what is it like to be the youngest in a family? Um, so the story One of Three is by Angela Johnson. She's our author, and the pictures are by David Soman. Uh, this book is a realistic fiction book. So we know that fiction means pretend, um, but it is a realistic fiction book. And that means that this story is pretend, but it really could happen. Um, there might be families out there that this story is exactly what's going on in their house. Um, so realistic fiction is a pretend book, but it could really happen. And what I thought I'd do today instead of reading it is I'm going to press play and you're going to listen to the story today. Um, so I might chime in and talk about it a little bit, but here we go. One of three. Angela Johnson. One of three. Pictures by David Soman. So we're going to read and listen to a story about three sisters. So there's an older sister, a middle sister, and then the youngest sister. Here we go. Since I can remember, I've been one of three. Eva, Nikki, and me. Okay, so and me. So Eva is probably the oldest, um, Nikki is the middle child, and the girl who says and me is the youngest child, the youngest. Did I skip one? Oh, no, here we go. One of three sisters that walk to school together down the street together. One of the three in the sun and the rain. So if you have maybe two other brothers or sisters in your family, you would also be one of three. So you might make, be making a connection to walking to school with your siblings. I'm one of the three that lives in apartment number two, has long hair and brown eyes, and can sometimes play hopscotch by the trash cans if I ask for a long time. Okay, so these girls look as if they are living in the city. Um, it says they live in an apartment building, so that is a building that has lots of different homes inside. Um, so when they play outside, they looks like they play on the sidewalk um, near their apartment building. On Saturdays, I'm one of the three that sits outside the bakery and looks and smells and smells. So the girls, the sisters look pretty happy. Um, looks like they enjoy spending time together and I bet they're thinking they maybe might want a little treat. What do you think? Let's see. I'm one of the three that squeezes into the taxi on snowy days with Mama, Aunt Sarah, and Grandma, and it's warm there. Okay, so they're riding in a taxi. Um, I told you previously that it looks like the girls live in a big city. Um, sometimes when people live in really large cities, they don't own cars, and they take taxis when they need to go places, or even the subway or trains. Um, so they're riding in the back of a taxi. I'm one of the three that looks just like our mama, smiles just like our daddy, and holds hands with my sisters in the store, looking like triplets. 
Almost. <laughs> So it must be that some people say that they look alike, right? And she said, um, we look like triplets almost. So you can tell that they're different sizes, um, that she's the youngest and her oldest sister's a little bit taller. Um, but I bet you've heard people in your family say, oh, you look just like your mom, or oh, you have your dad's nose, or you and your brother or your sister look identical. You look like twins. Um, sometimes people say that about kids in a family because you do. You look a lot like the people in your family. I'm one of the three that likes the subway, the people on it, and the way our feet hang over the seats. So here's an example of another uh, form of transportation that they take. They ride the subway. Um, so you can see there's lots of people that ride the subway. Um, so they take taxis and they ride the subway in the city that they live in. I'm one of three who lives over the flower shop. Mr. Lowen still gets all of our names wrong but he gives us each a daisy every time okay so she just said that they lived over the flower shop so their home is up here on top of the flower shop and whenever they see mr lowen um the man who works at the flower shop he gets their names wrong every time but he still gives them a daisy so that tells me that they really must look a lot alike um, if people are getting their names mixed up a lot we walk down the street like stair steps and I'm in front okay so what does that mean stair steps uh, so the oldest sister is up here and then it gets a little shorter for the middle sister and then in the front is the youngest girl and she obviously is the shortest so it kind of looks like stairs going down sometimes Eva and Nikki say I'm not invited to go with them. Not to the park, the store, or sometimes even for a walk. Now, if you're the youngest, you might be making a connection to this page. Um, sometimes big brothers and big sisters don't want to hang out with their little brother or their little sister. And sometimes being the youngest, you might feel a little left out. There might be things that you aren't old enough to do. Or sometimes your big brothers or sisters just want to play with people their own age. And that's okay, but I bet it makes you feel a little sad that you might be left out. And it looks like the youngest sister here too is feeling a little sad. Um, so let's keep reading. I'm left behind, not one of three, just one. Okay, so yeah, we can see that her face has changed, huh? She's looking very sad, and her eyes are down, her lips are down. She's slumped down on the ground. She's feeling a little left out. Um, so she's saying, I'm left behind, not one of three, just one. So she doesn't get to be with her sisters right now, and that's okay. It's okay to be by yourself sometimes. Um, it's okay to spend time away from your brothers and sisters sometimes too. Um, but sometimes when you are the only one left at home with mom or dad, maybe you get to do special things. So let's see what happens. Then mama calls me sister and says I'm too little to go there or do that so maybe i just want to help her paint or read to her mm -hmm. so mama's trying to console her and make her feel better and say you know you're too little to go with your sisters but i have a special job for you you can help me paint or we could read stories together daddy says 
that I have to be the baby sometimes and keep mama and him company just sometime. Now, looking at her, we know she's not a baby, but what do they mean by that? Sometimes your parents might say, oh, but you're my little baby. We know you're not a teeny tiny little baby anymore, but that just means you're the youngest. And sometimes, you know, you might not get to do those things with your big brothers or sisters, um, but her special job is to keep mama and daddy company. I miss Eva and Nikki and me, but... When it's just Mama, Daddy, and me, it's a different kind of three, and that's fine, too. Yeah, so she looks like she's feeling a little happier. So she said, it's a different kind of three. She's still one of three, but it's with Mommy and Daddy now. And it looks like she gets to have some special one-on-one -on -one time with her mom and dad, and that's really special, too. And then when her sisters come home, she look, you could see that she's sleeping on the couch, but her sisters still really care about her. Um, so just because they didn't want to play with her today or go with her or have her come with them doesn't mean she doesn't care about them. Okay? So thank you for listening. Um, I'll be back soon. Bye, kindergarten.